welcome back to my channel so we are back with another will my curls pop what's that little shoulder <laughs> so if you are new welcome thank you so much for stopping by and yes yeah, so if you don't know this week we are going to be trying out curls blueberry bliss line i've seen a lot of other curly girls on here um, try out these products and the results have been quite amazing so i'm super excited to see how it's going to work on my hair so i was undecided whether to get the um leave-in or the like actual buttercream so I got both so the first one I'm going to talk about is hold on a second this is the blueberry bliss reparative leave-in conditioner and it looks like this just in a squeezy bottle so let's smell it I know it smells amazing but yeah smells just like the control paste I live by the control paste the blueberry one and the passion fruit one those two products i've been using from curls for a while but i'm super excited to try out the rest of their stuff so we also have the um control jelly which looks like this let me see how the consistency is mm, okay seems like it's pretty light um not as heavy as some other gels so that could be a good or a bad thing and now we have the twist and shout cream so i really want to see what's the texture of this okay it's actually pretty thick which is really good so what we're going to do is the same thing like we did in the design essentials i'm going to do um, two different sides using the two different products and then whichever one seems really trash truck <laughs> Whichever one seems to work better, we'll do the whole head with that, and then I'll give my final thoughts. So, let's go ahead and see, will Curls Blueberry Bliss make my curls pop? Let's find out. Alright. Here we go, y'all. Alright, and I'm making sure my hair is really wet. This side is going to be the twist and shout cream and the gel and this side is going to be the leave-in conditioner. Okay. So off the bat I definitely feel like it's moisturizing and clumped the curls together pretty well. Wow, that looks good. So that's pretty much done. I just needed one little scoop of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the gel and see what happens. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm going to just start off with a little bit. So like that much. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this side. Let's go in with the leave-in conditioner. Honestly, I feel like both sides are going to be okay. I just uh, think it all depends on the look that I'm going for. This actually feels a little bit more moisturizing than this twist and shout cream. I don't know. Kind of similar. Alright, we're going with the same amount of gel. I can immediately tell a difference. Yeah, so once I put the gel on, this side seemed to start feeling a little dry where this side still feels soft to the touch. 
so let me bring y'all in I know you can see a definite difference right here but I'm gonna bring you in um, so you can see up close all right so here we go this side is with the twist and shout cream and the gel which to me looks absolutely amazing and it's soft and then this side is with the leave-in and the gel so a little PC a little still frizzy and it actually feels a little dry yeah no definitely not these we saw I mean look at that total difference so of course this side is gonna win I'm gonna continue to do my hair with the twist and shout <laughs> twist and shout cream and the gel and um, these two it seems like it's leaving white too so maybe those two don't really mix on my hair too well back here is okay but right here it's just not taking um, so if you can see this is definitely two different textures this is a lot coilier this one is a little looser and more frizzier so yeah but all right I do like the leave-in um, just maybe not for a wash and go or not with this gel so let's keep on going Okay guys, so <sighs> wet results kind of fleeky. Like, yeah. This if you guys could feel my hair right now. I don't know why I said that the cream felt drying. Um, possibly because that section wasn't fully detangled so as I was trying to apply the cream um, my tangles were getting in the way and that is probably why it felt dry um, so what I did with each section after I sprayed the water I went over it one more time with like a brush kind of like a Denman sort of but it's not a Denman brush so I combed it through with that and then I applied the cream y'all I could probably use this twist and shout cream by itself like that's how good it is it takes to my hair so well um, for one my hair has to be soaking wet which is what I noticed and fully detangled too which your hair should always be detangled when applying products um, but I love this twist and shout cream I love it a lot it clumps my curls together so fast and I feel like the gel honestly is just an accessory I don't feel like the gel is a necessity um, especially with this twist and shout cream I think that's what it's called um, because the it, it does such an amazing job on its own that I feel like depending on the kind of results you want uh, would determine whether you would use the gel if you just want your definition but you still want it a little fluffy um, then I would probably say go with the twist and shout cream and if your hair is a little thinner than mine but your curls are you know really curly I think you could get away with just using that on its own like this is really good this could almost be a one product wash and go like seriously I'm not even joking so but I still use the gel on top just you know for the purpose of the video I do like the gel is it anything special did it stand out to me no I think the twist and shout cream kind of overshadowed it with the leave-in that the gel is definitely a necessity with that um, for my hair type especially 
I could not probably just get away with using the leave-in by itself. Although it is very moisturizing, it does not do a great job with controlling the frizz. It's just probably really for moisturizing purposes. So if I were to use that, I know that the gel in that case would be a necessity for me. But I love this twist and shout cream. I mean, my hair feels so soft and it's so defined. I really feel like it's going to be like Camille Rose, how my looser um, pieces kind of really bounced up and curled up with minimal frizz. So let's go ahead and see how it dries and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it is Saturday morning and I just wanted to pop on here really quickly. Um, I did finish the video yesterday, but the clip from last night when my hair was fully dry for the first time um, was really, really dark and I wanted to, you know, refilm it this morning just so it could be bright and the video could stay cohesive, but those results I just have to show you guys. I cannot deny, like this is second day and this is beautiful, but yesterday it just looked so 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 pretty when it first dried it really looked very similar to Camille Rose on the first day and so this is second day I wanted to show you guys still just so you can see the results are bomb it's really really pretty fluffy um, not crunchy at all and still has a lot of definition it just got a little bigger from yesterday so I'm gonna go ahead and still insert the clip um, just so you can see my raw reaction when my hair dried I love this line once again so thank you guys so much for recommending it I'm about to head out to my morning workout and and then I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Alright guys. So. Um, I'm going to try to brighten it up. Because it is like 6 o'clock. Going on 7 o'clock. But my hair is completely dry. And. I. I'm, it's getting so hard. Because. These last couple ones. Have been pretty. Pretty A1. These results. <coughs> These results are bomb as I don't know what. Like, can we just take a moment? Talk about movement. Talk about definition. No frizz. Like, curls is popping from all angles. I love this line. But y'all already knew that. Y'all already knew I was going to love this line. And this is definitely... A tie to Camille Rose. I'm gonna have to do Camille Rose again to see if this one actually topped it but I have no complaints and like I said I did not even really use a lot of the gel. I did barely like a squeeze of the gel on each section so this is really the twist and shout cream doing its thing like so impressed dried super quickly I did my hair around 11 this morning it's going on six and it's already like 80% which is great because a lot of other products take probably like 24 hours to the next day for my hair to be dry so by tonight my hair is definitely going to be dry and then tomorrow when I take it out the pineapple it's going to be a one like I'm so excited so excited I mean I love oh my god I love this love it so much so I'm happy I don't have anything else to say the results are there um, thank you guys so much for picking curls blueberry bliss you guys have been asking for that for a minute now so I'm happy that I finally did it gonna be my staples have changed this will my curls pop is definitely helping me out as well because my hair has changed and so now I'm adding new staples into my collection so when we wrap this video up like this series up I'm going to do my new staples video which is going to be a lot of different products from when I used to use and things like that so I'm happy that I'm finding new things that make my curls look amazing make my hair feel soft like there is no crunch in this hair no crunch like, you couldn't even tell I used gel. It's, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, but that's all for today. Thank you guys for waiting. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!